So I'm going to be making a baby Yoda rattle, which is probably the cutest thing on earth. So we have a little trace out of Yoda that I'm going to put onto this piece of walnut, which is just like a really beautiful piece of wood. Um, it's going to bring a nice contrast of color to this piece as well. I'm going to hole saw out the middle um, and then do another hole so that I can put the dowel in and make the noise maker. And then we're going to bring out his face with a little bit of milk paint. So I have a green, some black to bring in some nice, cute little sleepy eyes, and then finish it out with some wax. And everything here is baby safe, so it'll be great for kids to enjoy. All right, so I am just lining this up to make sure that it's in the middle. Uh, once I plunge it through, I won't have um, any chance to change it, so I just want to make sure it's nice and center. Now we have our shape for Baby Yoda. We're gonna clean him up a little bit, and he looks awesome. So now I'm gonna step this up through sanding grits. Uh, for the first grit, I'm going to wet it so that I raise the grain. When you do that, you can kind of like feel a bit more of a roughness from the wood. So if I start there, then I'll end up with a smoother finish for the babes. I like to use my dowel so that I can actually like see what it would look like when the dowel's in there. So I've used that to make my lines, which will show me where I want to use the drill bits to drill all the way through and make a hole that will take the dowel. All right, it's good. Now I'm just going to clean it up. Voila! Yay! So cute.
Baby Yoda! He looks great. He's really fun, really sweet. I think the wax that we used really did a nice job of popping the grain on the walnut, giving him a nice soft look. We used baby safe elements the whole way through. So we have the milk paint, we have uh, baby safe wax, we have the walnut, the hardwood. So this is great for all kids. This is great for all adults if you just wanna love on baby Yoda. Um, I use a lot of my power tools, my standing power tools. You certainly don't have to have all of that. You can use uh, what you have in your home, maybe a jigsaw, power drill, it's a very achievable project and you end up with a really fun result.